Welcome back guys. In this video, I will show you the power of headers while doing web scraping in Python. So what happens is some web server actually differentiate between the clients. Some clients are able to access the information while other clients get banned because the web servers have been designed in those ways. So those users who are actually following up the same activities Web servers think of them as bots and ban them from assessing information. So what all activities web servers actually come to know that you are using a bot are, I'm going to write a few of them. So this, this, yeah. Number one is page interaction. How exactly you are interacting with a particular page. So you, if you are visiting a page, copy pasting the information in your Note or WordPad, and uh, then visiting another page. So the type you are doing. So you are searching for a Google, making a Google query, then clicking on one page, second page, third page, copy pasting it. So they got to know that similar kind of activities are being done. It might be a boat, so they might ban you. Then they also track mouse movements. So how exactly the mouse is moving? So suppose I'm going to LinkedIn.com, and I'm using an automation tool which is actually going through a user profile up and down crawl and then is scrolling it up and then saving it. So basically the same mouse movements are happening. So that means it might be a boot. Then also WebScaper use common type of browsers which are actually not allowed or probably a web server does not allow most of the web browser to access the information through it. So that is for security reasons also and uh, there are more activities but uh, just to give you an example I am writing them now so I think this is enough and now to tell you the big thing over here is these things can actually get you banned but if you act as a Google crawler if you act as a Google crawler, then you can actually bypass the website. Now I'll show you practically how you can act as a Google crawler while scraping the web and bypass the information. So let me take you to my desktop. And let's open here uh, Financial Times. Financial Times is a newspaper which is covers very good stories although it is paid. So we our purpose here is to learn how exactly we can access that. So if you see here, I want to read this article suppose and just to scrape the word like suppose I am covering this story and I want all the information coming up on the Financial Times and other uh, sources related to this article but here I it is actually blocked me up and it says uh, shows me a pivot. Now what exactly web scrappers do? They want to bypass this information, and uh, Financial Times knows that if Google crawler is going to crawl its website, its website ranking will improve. So they will block everything, but they won't block Google crawlers. So it is blocked for the general public, but it is not blocked for Google crawlers. Now, as a smart web scraper, I want to act like a Google crawler today. So, what I'll do is I just uh, change some of the things into it headers, and this uh, paywall should go away. So, just to show you the power of headers, let me copy paste this and let me go here and enter this. So, you see here uh, again, I saw the same paywall, and uh, this is blocked. Now, what I'll do is I'll go to head. When I'll go to headers, I'll just make a key values and I'll see what happens. So I'll write next for us. And uh, here in the value, I'm write, going to write that it's uh, google.com. So what I what does it mean is I'm telling it that I have been referred by google.com to see your website. I am a crawler. Now I'll just send request to it. And if you see this, I bypassed. I can see the content now, which I'm not able to see. If you go here, 
I can't see anything. If you come here, I can see things. But that is just because I have made changes to ref. If I delete this, I am again blocked. So that's what the good scraper do. They actually act like say, a Google crawler to the different websites. And the website does not have a chance to block them up. This is just for information purposes. Don't use it to read uh, news coverage by Financial Times or any other newspaper or any other publisher. This is just for your information. But yeah, that is how exactly things are done. And that is how exactly good web scraping comes out. So that is all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. And thank you.